all right okay so now i have connection i've been trying to go live but i haven't had the connection hello let's see All right, we are live. Hi, my name is Attorney LaConya Murray. I am the small business attorney, and I help clients throughout the United States with trademarks, copyright, and business development solutions. Thank you so much for joining me on a Tuesday. I know that I haven't made an announcement. I'll let anybody know, but I just want to come on really quick. I have about um, five, no more than ten minutes to really um, talk to you all um, about the tip of the day. Today's tip of the day is don't be so eager for opportunity that you fail to consider the long-term effects. And right now what I want to do is, hey, thank you so much for coming in. I haven't been able to see comments on Facebook Live. So if you're, in, if you're here, definitely let me know. Um, I don't know if I had to swipe or what. Um, I don't know what I just did. Hopefully that works. Hey, thank you so much for coming in. But so the topic is don't be so eager for opportunity that you fail to consider the long-term effects. And the reason <clears throat> that I made this the tip of the day, I don't know if you follow me on Facebook or if you subscribe to my email list, but if you are, then you receive notification that I released a new blog post over the weekend. And I was really inspired to write this blog post um, based off of the Remy Ma and Nicki Minaj rap beef that's going on. Um, I'm not really too into rap nowadays, but it was really refreshing to hear, like I listened, okay, let's put it this way. So in the car last week, I uh, listened to The Breakfast Club and they announced that Nicki Minaj was on two songs and blah, 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 barely listened. The next day, or maybe two days later, my timeline starts blowing up about Remy Ma and her response to Nikki's verses. And I ignored it, I ignored it, I ignored it. And then I finally listened to it. And first of all, thank you so much for being rap. Like I appreciated it so much because it told a story. It was, it, there were lyrics that meant something. It just wasn't fluff and something to make you dance to, but I really appreciated it. But when I was listening to it, I mean, Remy Ma was telling all the tea, like she was, she was dishing it all. And so when she got to the part that Nicki Minaj had a 360 deal, I was like, oh my gosh, what? Like I would have never known that she signed a, a 360 contract. And a lot of people weren't familiar about 360 contracts. So I did an entire blog post about the 360 contracts and just some of the things that you need to consider when you are an artist or a business owner. Um, and you're signing a contract, things to, and, and you're building a business. But one of the things someone asked is like, why would anybody do that? Why would anybody sign a 360 deal? And we're not just talking about Nicki Minaj in this case. We're talking about artists and even um, um, authors because the 360 deal is not, um, is not just for um, artists. Okay. And so one of the reasons I told them that they would do that is because they're so eager for opportunity. You have some people who've been trying to, you know, get on for what they feel is years. And so someone comes up to them and presents them with an opportunity to be famous, to make money, to live a life that they've never lived before. And they're just going to sign on the dotted line. I mean, we've seen it over and over again, especially now when they're, making, when they're telling stories of some of the artists from back in our time. And I sound like I'm really old. My kids make, make me seem, seem old because they're always like, so mom, back in your day, you know, I'm like, my day wasn't that long ago. Chill out, chill out. But um, anyway, but you know, you saw where the, you know, TLC, New Edition, Tony, they just sign deals, you know, just so eager. And sometimes what happens is they use the, um, the record labors, labels attorney and my first thing I would tell you is whenever you're reviewing a contract that somebody else draft don't rely on their attorney to explain the terms and conditions of that agreement you need to hire your own attorney that's going to look out for your best benefit and tell you yay or nay or you need to consider this and you need to take this out uh, I think that's one of the things that a lot of people do they just rely on the other person's attorney to tell them what the terms mean not realizing that that attorney is looking out for their client's best interest. Not saying always that 
somebody's out to get you, but just realize that that attorney is drafting the contract to protect their client's interests. So with that in mind, when you're reviewing your contract, just make sure that you consider the long-term effect. So one of the things about a 360 deal, the reason that they really, because they, they're fairly new, and the reason they're so popular or became so popular by the record label is because um, the sales, the record label sales started to decline because people were starting to download music. So they weren't getting any money. They, they weren't making money, and record labels are in the business of making money. And they weren't making any money based off this artist. So, but the artists with, the, with, with social media and, and, and being famous, they were able to get other opportunities based off of their, their records and their music and their popularity. So let's say that I'm an, uh, a singer, and now someone's like, oh, we love your look with this, that, and the other. We want you, will you wear our clothes? We'll pay you to wear our clothes, or we'll give you this type of endorsement, or we'll put you in a movie, or this, that, and the other. So the rec label says, hmm, we're not making any money from the record sales. However, we can make some money if we um, make sure that we get a percentage of whatever this artist does even if it's not music related. So that's where the 360 comes from, is because they, any, any way that you're making money, they're touching it. Because it's their opinion that if it wasn't for them putting you on, you wouldn't have these opportunities. And also, and another reason that the artist would sign it is because now that the record co company has an interest and a stake in in everything that you do, now they're gonna invest more money in making sure that they put you out there. So now they're going to make sure that they're getting their investment back, that they're putting you out there, and that's kind of how that works. But, so we talked about one thing to look at when you're talking about your contract is to make sure that you use um, your own attorney. If someone else is drafting it, make sure to you use your own attorney to make sure that you have the best deal possible is, is to your benefit. And the second thing I want you to do is just to consider and kind of think ahead, kind of like playing chess, think a few moves ahead to what your goals are. What, how do you see yourself in the future? And does this contract align with that? Does this opportunity, not just contract, does this opportunity align with that? And if it doesn't, then you may want to reconsider. You may want to reconsider. And one of the things that I was just speaking with someone um, a few days ago is, Sometimes your long-term goal changes, which means that the way that you evaluate contracts and the way that you evaluate opportunities must also change. Uh, that also means that you might need to go back and review some of your existing opportunities and contracts and see if they can be modified to further your, your, your new goal. And what I mean by that is when I started off the mark, I had this vision. I told everyone, I had this vision, you know, that I wouldn't be practicing law all of, for the remainder of my life, that off the market kind of evolve into some sort of all-in-one branding marketing um, shop where I would have, we would have the lawyers, we would have graphic designers, we would have marketers and PR and everything of that nature. And that's what I saw for, for a while. But then my daughter, who is nine, one of my daughters who's nine, she told me that she wants to be an attorney when she grows up. She wants to be a lawyer like her mommy when she grows up. And I was like, oh, that's so sweet. But it made me think. I started thinking, okay, she wants to be an attorney when she grows up. I know when I was her age and I had that same dream, the same goal, I had no one to look up to. I had no one to talk to. I had no one to show me what it was. And when I went to college and when I went to law school, you know, I didn't have those opportunities. I, I did, when I went to law school, did find a great mentor to um, help me, but I wanted to make sure that when my daughter, this was her goal, I wanted to make sure that, because I feel like it's my responsibility as a parent to make sure that when my daughter is ready to transition and, and go into the field, that she doesn't have to go somewhere else and look for work. I feel like if she wants to be a lawyer, she should know that when she graduates, she has a place to step into. 
that she has a place that when she's in high school and when she's in undergrad and when she's in law school, she has a place where she can come and learn what it means to actually practice law and what it means to be an attorney because what, what the television gets it wrong and law school doesn't show you. So for that reason, my, my long-term goal changed and the opportunities now that I'm, I'm seeking have changed. So that's why I said all that is to say that you always in everything you do, you must consider where you want, how it's going to affect your long-term goal. All right. And if you're here, let me know. If you're on Facebook, let me know. I'm, I'm, I'm also coming on to kind of test this. Periscope is great. Um, I can see the comments. I can see the hearts. Facebook, I don't know about Facebook. I can't see the comments until after I get off, and I do not know why. Hold on, I'm going to hit a button. Let's see if this works. Mm -mm. Let me see. I'm going to put testing and see if I see that. Okay, I see, now people on, I can see. I can see that someone's on. And I see that someone said, hi Connie. Oh, I know who it is. So I see, I think that that may be working now. Yay, yay, yay. Because it's really important because if you are new to my channel, if you're new to following me, on Thursdays we do ask, ask the small business attorney and that's your opportunity to come in and I talk, I answer a question that someone submitted and you can kind of ask follow-up questions to those questions. But if I can't see the question, <laughs> so, so yeah, so that's what I want to talk about today was, you know, just be mindful of those opportunities. And let me think, I think that's all I have for today. I think that's been our, our five, 10 minutes. And so join me on Thursday for Ask the Small Business Attorney. If you have any questions about contracts, if you have any questions about copyrights, if you have questions about trademarks, definitely let me know. You can schedule uh, a complimentary, complimentary assessment to learn more about my services. And if you have a question, you can absolutely schedule a quick question consultation because I love to answer those people who have questions that are specific to their business all the time. But you have to remember that this communication that we have right now it's not legal advice, it's information. So if you have something that's specific and particular to your business, definitely reach out and let me know. You can schedule a consultation by going to bit.ly backslash 10 min consult. So that's 10 minute consult, 10 min consult. And that's where you can um, schedule your, your consultation. Oh, you like my shirt? Cool beans. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You can actually go to uh bit.ly backslash diva overrated um and that's where i got this shirt from it's cool it says hustler because diva let me see actually it's overrated so yeah i thought that was cool so with that being said i'm going to get back to it thank you guys for joining me and i will see you guys later